guys, it's Becca and I'm here to do my collective year, or not year, month end haul for January 2019. So I didn't buy too much, it was kind of more of needs, kind of, sort of, a little bit. Um, so I made an order to Sephora because I ran out of my serum. So I was going to get a higher end serum, but then... I didn't know quite what I wanted to target with my serum. I didn't really want to do moisturizing. Kind of want to do like fine lines. I didn't know really. So I had heard good things about the Ordinary Buffet is the multi-technology peptide serum. And it is made with um, a Trixel 3000 peptide hyaluron. It's made with hyaluronic acid, amino acids, and bioderivatives. So you can use this morning and evening. Um, my other serum, you only can use it every other evening. So I needed something for the morning time and any every other day at the evening. And it um, visibly targets surface hydration, fine lines, wrinkles, dynamic lines. Apparently that's different than regular wrinkles. And textural irregularities and I have been using this for maybe a, a week not quite a week and I really like it and as you can see those lights are bright and you are not letting me show you just a clear liquid it's very um viscous I believe that's a good word to describe it so you only need a small amount and spreads out quite a bit so I really have been liking this time will tell though you know sometimes you really like things when you buy them and then you end up hating them later the other thing I bought was the Ula Hendrickson transform uh, what is it glow 2 glow 2 o dark spot toner and it um targets dark spots fine lines wrinkles uh, skin textures and pot high potency AHAs so it um kind of exfoliates and it is a nightly. You can use it nightly, I believe. Let me see. Sorry. Reading. Yeah, at night. And you can, I've been using it. <laughs> I have been using it. Although I don't have the box memorized. And you um, just pour a bit on a cotton pad and you do like circular motions. Circular motions around your face. And it does feel a little tingly afterwards. Um, I like it. I definitely do like it. It's really cool looking. And um, it's made with sandalwood, chamomile, and licorice extracts. So, um, I don't know. I did it mainly for the dark spots because I have like a dark spot right here. Um, I like it so far. And it wasn't too expensive. I think it was like $28 or so. And you get a decent amount. I do like it. I would recommend that. At least so far. I did the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer and it has a little sachet. And I have to try this out. It looked interesting. What is this supposed to do? This one also has hyaluronic acid and resveratrol, which is that chemical in wine that's supposed to be really good for your skin. So it's full coverage. Creaseless, soft matte finish while correcting and smoothing skin imperfections. Well, that sounds like a concealer to me. I'll have to try that out. And then this was really cool. It's a double packet. And it has the Sephora Soothing and Relaxing Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes and the Sephora Charcoal Purifying and Detoxing Wipes. So it would be perfect for when you travel, especially like an overnight trip. Awesome. And then with their little, you know, code thing, I've got the... I chose the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, and it is a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. So, I don't know if it's a serum. It doesn't really say if it's a serum or just, just an oil. I don't know. It's a cute little pipette. Look how adorable that is. I'll have to let you know how that is. Um, cause I've been wanting to try that for forever. And you know how they came, Sephora came out with like the thing that they said, oh, you can use more than one code at the same time. You can, you know, double up. 
no, you can't. Well, they, they said uh, to for uncertain things. Couldn't double up on any of them. I tried like four different combinations. Couldn't double up on any of them, which was really frustrating. Not gonna lie. Um, and then I made an order to ColourPop. I usually make an order once a year to ColourPop. It tends to be like, um, pretty evenly spaced out. So I was watching Andrea Mantigliano's video of her, I think it was 10 best palettes of 2018 that she got. And she showed this palette. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, this is literally what I've been looking for in the blue category for palette. I've been looking for a small blue eyeshadow palette that just has the colors I want. I'll show you. It is the wet and I never even saw that this came out too. It came out during the summer. So it is wet by Brent Rockman and ColourPop. I'm not sure who Brent Rockman is. I'm sure somebody knows. I'm sure a lot of people know, but I have no idea. So interesting packaging, kind of fun. And then this packaging is extra fun because it is all glitter and it is the wet palette. So I think I'm going to keep this packaging because I don't want the glitter rubbing out and onto everything. And this is what that bad boy looks like. It's literally perfect. It has the blue colors I'm looking for and it has some neutral grounded pa um, colors. It's just perfect. Oh, this light is too bright. I'm so sorry. Maybe you can see it, but I will swatch it out for you. Um, I don't know what any of these names mean. <laughs> I'm sure if you're a Brent Rockman fan, you'll know. I assume he's a YouTuber. Someone can correct me on that. So the first one is finished. And at first I thought it was just a white, but it you can see right here is a white with a light, light blue. And there it is. You know, it's a good base color. The next to it is I'm Chillin'. And this is a bit deeper than I thought it would be. And it needs a little building. A little bit building. It's very pretty. And then LOL I'm Crying, which is gorgeous, sparkly blue. Oh yeah. Love it. And then Skinny Legend, which is a perfect like skin tone color for those that are lighter. Kind of just blends right in. And then Mood, it's perfect satin, deep brown, or deep blue, I'm sorry. It is gorgeous. And I need a wipe. Hold on. I need to wipe my hand off. Ooh Sometime this year I'll be done. It is fishy, and it is, I haven't used this color yet, I've used Several of these colors, not this one. Okay, I've actually only used three of these colors. And it is like a, it looks prettier on my thumb than it does on my hand. It's like a dark foresty green with a little bit of blue sparkle in there. And then next to it is Thickums. Oh, this is so creamy. Oh, yeah. Oh my God, look at that color. Oh. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. And then to round it out, it's Iwa Beach. And it's a nice mid tone brown. So here's all the colors. Kind of bad angle. There we go. But it's just a nice curated um blue palette that's what i've been looking for with like deeper blues because i don't really want like those weird 90s or 80s blues that are like really in your face face and garish i wanted like a deep smoky blue and of course they're staying on my hand so i have been loving this so far i've used it two or three times i have to play with it a bit more i, I really want to use these two colors and oh my god that's silver oh i can't believe how gorgeous that silver is and this is like a perfect palette you can go traveling with it you can do like a neutral look 
with like these two and that one. Or you can smoke it up or you can go really colorful and crazy. It's really nice and versatile, which I've been looking for. And it was a perfect price. I think it was only $12. And then I was browsing on the website and they were having a sale as usual. And I got this uh, Super Shock Shadow in Milky Way and it was on clearance. I think it was on clearance, it was on sale. But I've used a bunch, <laughs> I've used it a lot. So the pattern has gone away and it is, oh my God, it has glitter. It's not just like a beautiful satin pink. It is, it has a sparkle in it that just, your eyelid just, it catches the light perfectly. And my husband has told me so many times like, your eyes look so cool. And then I'll look later and be like, what's on your eyes? It's really cool. It's like, you know, for your husband to actually notice what's on your eyes is the camera is not doing it justice, but there's blue sparkle in there and you know, blue, pink, silver. It's superb. I love it. Every time I wear it, someone goes, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? I love it. Um, so yeah, I highly, highly recommend that. Um, I want to wear it every day. Sorry, uh, my camera is moving because my dog is right down here. She uh, wants to be fed. We will in a second. So my last item that I picked up was from Kirkland's. Um, I'm not sure everyone has a Kirkland's. It's kind of like a TJ Maxx, Marshall Z store, but there's like lots of the things. <laughs> it's like a lower priced uh, home decor store. And I saw this when I was checking out and it is a um, cosmetic brush cleaner mats. And it had, it's really cool because there's different sizes and there's like face brush cleaner. I'm not sure what makes it a face brush, short brush, eye brush, more, or eye brush cleanse and then rinse. So you can scrub and then rinse it off in there. And I like that it has the rubber on it. It was only $6.99, so it's nice and affordable. Because the one I'm using right now is the little pink scrubby thing that comes in the top of the Beauty Blender uh, cleaner. And it's kind of getting a little rough around the edges. It feels like it's going to die soon. So I wanted to get another one. I'm sorry, these swatches are like really swatched on my hand. Um, but anyways, anything to make cleaning a bit faster is always good in my book. Um, so that is all I bought in the month of January. Uh, not a ton, but enough. Definitely more skincare focused. And it was more of things I ran out of, except for obviously the ColourPop order, because can you ever run out of enough eyeshadows? I don't think so. Anyways, I have to go test out my brush cleaner because my brushes are filthy. It always seems like you're like, oh, I just washed my brushes, and it ends up being like three weeks prior. So I need to go get on that. So can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.